So the Orlando Magic are signing Contavious Caldwell Pope to a three-year deal worth $66 million, so about $22 million a year. And whether this is a good or bad signing, I think it w- it's depending on what the Magic do with the rest of free agency. Because if the team were to stay as it is and they just add like a couple other role players, I think Magic fans are going to be disappointed with Contavious Caldwell Pope. And I've always been a fan of Contavious Caldwell Pope. I think he's a great championship piece. But he's great if he's like your fifth best starter. He's like a perfect fifth starter or even like a fourth starter on a team. Like he was great with the Nuggets when you had Jamal Murray, Mike Porter Jr., Jokic, and Aaron Gordon, who were all options over him on offense. And he could just be that great fifth piece on your squad. But if you're the Magic, your biggest problem was not having um, a good defensive two guard that can knock down an open three. The threes will help, but your biggest problem it's just overall bucket getters and just creating offense. Because you have Paolo, who's you know a great young star player for them, but he's not necessarily a, a shot creator in terms of a guy that can create on every level of the floor. And even if he does develop an, a reliable three-point shot and his passing continues to develop, which is fairly solid, uh, they don't have enough other high-level offensive pieces for Catavius Caldwell to just go in there and not have a lot of pressure to score a lot. So it really relies on this move, them getting a Paul George. Because if they don't, $22 million is just too much for Catavius Caldwell Pope. But if this is a move to try and lure Paul George and say, we are serious about winning now. Yes, we have young pieces, but we also have a real championship piece that's done it as a starter with multiple different teams. You could come here and win now then it will end up being a good move. So it really depends on that for the Magic. For the Nuggets over there in Denver, now the pressure's on them a little bit for losing him because they already got knocked out this year in large part because they weren't able to hold on to Bruce Brown. And when things started to go bad in Game 7, they didn't have anyone to come off the bench and give him a spark. Now they're going to have to try and get an upgrade on the bench, a guy that can give him a reliable spark or hope that it comes from one of the young, young guys taking a leap at Brown and Peyton Watson. And they're also going to have to fill a reliable starting two-guard spot um, to go along with that. So for the Nuggets, this is a big loss. For the Magic, if they saw it signed Paul George, I will say overpay. $22 million is a little much. It's too much for a guy that's 31 years old and not really might not even get you double figures. But it's worth it if it helps you get Paul George. If you do not get Paul George, this is a bad signing, and it is not even a good fit because they need bucket getters, not off-ball can knock down an open three-point guy. They need a guy that can create offense and really get buckets. So if they get that with Paul George or a guy at that level, good signing. If they don't, can't get with it. Let me know what y'all think, though. Drop a comment, hit that like, and then subscribe. Please? Yes, sir.